So I'm basically trying to come up with a, an essential contrapposto pose. My focus primarily will be on a bit better understanding the relationship of the rib cage to the pelvis. And what I start off with is the break in the midline, uh, which runs along the spinal column and the, of the vertebrae. At the top, I'm just going to think about the basic shape that I want for that ovoid region located at the ribcage mass. Now I'm drawing it in in white so it makes it easier to you know, lightly knock it in there, make some revisions along the way. And I'm a big fan of revisions. If I see something wrong, I try to fix it right away. I don't try to let it linger in there for too long. Um, I try to solve a lot of the problems right away in the beginning. And just by looking at things um, in terms of patterns in the body, I find a lot of helpful information. Uh, for instance, halfway between this shape, the rough middle, is right where I would find the bottom of the pectoralis or uh, the point just above where this other ovoid mass might be coming in here for the pelvic region. I try to picture this not just as a box, like shape, but as another ovoid mass. So I map and the uh, the ribcage mass as an ovoid, similar in shape and size and length with uh, on this particular male upper body area that I'm drawing, uh, as it is here in the pelvic region. And you notice it's about the same width, roughly the same height or so. And then halfway through this ovoid is where we're going to knock in the top of the pelvis, or where you find the posterior superior iliac crest or the anterior superior iliac crest, depending on the view that you're trying to draw. For this demonstration, I'm probably going with more of a uh, posterior view of the body. So right about th at this point, I mark that. At the bottom of this, I'm marking the relationship of where I see the location of the great trochanters, uh, pubic bone region. This is known primarily as the halfway mark of the body because from this point to the top of the head, it's roughly about half of the length of the body overall or height of the body. So from here to here is equal to this distance from here at the halfway mark down to the feet. Uh, so I'm just going to start with that in the beginning. and. Um, I'm just going to try to see this as a mass and look for simple shapes within this mass, like the basic shape of the pelvis coming together. Great trochanter. And how, do, how long do I make the femoral bone? Well, that's pretty easy. I just take this distance from the rough halfway mark of the body to this halfway mark of this ovoid where the bottom of the pectoralis would be on the other side. And that's roughly the length of my femur bone or my tibia bone. Or I could also do this another way, from the top of the head to the halfway mark, half of that distance from here to here, it, or from here to here, this would be like your leg bones of the femur or the tibia, you know, this distance. So that's how I can check myself early on with just very little on the page. From there, I start thinking about just something really simple. with the way the ribcage mass might be shaded in if the light was coming in from this side. And again, I'm primarily concentrating my attention on what's happening on this area of the body uh, from the ribcage mass to the pelvis because so much of the movement of the pose, of any pose, is dependent on what's happening in this region.
I might go down a little bit further to knock in the beginning of the legs there, the upper leg, maybe a, a, to the knee area. Now, from there, maybe I'll start to look at what's going on up here. I find my shoulder line, or the tilt of the shoulders, as they say. At this point, I can knock in the top of the shoulder mass with the shoulder, the shoulder girdle trapezius region. This is the muscle that helps to pull the arms upwards um, from this point up to the neck. I might even put in a little bit of the neck. and start to lightly indicate where I want the arms to be. Now, how long do I make the upper arm of the humerus? That's pretty easy as well. If you line up where the bottom of the ribcage is with the upper arm, you'll find the medial epicondyle bone of the humerus. This little protrusion sticking out on the inside of the bone pointed directly towards the bottom of the ribcage.